Hi guys, this is Yaroslav and Lilia, and today we will be talking about your favorite dance, Quick Step. Actually, we have received a nice comment on Facebook uh, asking how not to get tired during dancing Quick Step. And the answer to that is to be absolutely clear about what you are doing, about your body, leg, actions, and of course, good practice. You have to exercise, and we are hoping that you are going to be exercising Quick Step together with us today. And then with a little prayer after other four dances in the final, you'll be fine. Hopefully we all will survive. Okay, let's get going. Now, what we will be talking about today is three types of movement in quick step. Three types of motion. It is going to be swing motion, run, and hop. So let's get started. First motion is swing. Now there are two kinds of swings. There is a pendulum swing and there is a metronomic swing. So let's start with the pendulum swing and Yaroslav is going to describe it for us. I volunteer to explain it. So what we know about swing is that it's a free movement around the fixed point. Now, as you probably noticed, we as a human beings don't have any fixed point above us. And obviously the, the pendulum swing looks like that. Since there is no fixed point uh, above and we can move freely in uh, any direction and do any rise and fall that we can, what we're trying to do, we are trying to show the swing force through our whole body. So in order to do that, we have to be very clear about our rise and fall, about our sequence of actions. And again, this is a very large subject to, uh, to discuss and it takes time to, to understand it and really practice. But all you need to know is that there is no fixed point. You can be possibly inclining randomly towards some areas, uh, you know, in the room, on the ceiling, or I've heard many, many versions of that. What we are really trying to do is, as I'm going forward, I will just demonstrate a few very, very simple steps for you. And we are trying to uh, show the swing force. We have to be really aware of our standing leg our weight on top of the standing leg and we really have to be clear with our rise and fall so as I'm going forward I'm lowering again I know I've said that a thousand times but I'm using my body flight and ankle joint at the same time I'm going through the lowering action as I keep on moving forward and I'm rising you, you can see that I went exactly uh, using the course I've previously uh, mentioned, mentioned. Uh, maybe I can do it one more time and maybe I can just pick up the spot on my body just to make sure I'm doing what I'm actually saying. That is very important. Yes, if we visualize uh, a point somewhere here in the hip area which is going to be approximately the middle of Yaroslav's uh, body and we are going to visualize the swing course that Yaroslav is going to create through his rise and fall and one, two, three, four. So you can see that there is this pendulum course that we've done and, and same backwards and down through the bottom and up in the end. So we have that scoop line motion that represents our pendulum swing. Now I was doing only frontal movement and I was going backwards and forwards. I didn't do any rotation, I didn't do any sway. I want you to understand purely the course of that pendulum swing. If you have that clarity, you are already one step ahead. Uh, and then we can apply all other actions on top of that. If we are talking about the metronomic swing, that is a different type of swing. Yes, on the other side, in metronomic swing, we do have a fixed point, which is in our foot. We are attached to the floor, we are attached to the ground, and this helps us greatly in order to perform a metronomic swing. And again, if you watch some other our videos, when we were doing this kind of exercise, I think this might be very uh, clear metronomic swing example because our feet are attached on the ground and then if we are doing this particular exercise we can say that the top of the metronome is our head remember just an exercise and then we can do this action and of course if Lilia does it and I pretend that's the top of the metronome this is I think I'm helping you a little bit I'm sorry yes. this is the swing, the metronomic swing force that we are creating and we have a, a fixed point here which is the sole of our foot or feet uh, depends where your body goes Yes, thank you So exactly what we have in many basic steps and all syllabus step, 
steps, it is our swing movement, swing motion. And a good example of that is something like open nature and running finish, when we have two steps over the pendulum swing and one step over the metronomic swing. So Yaroslav is going to demonstrate the beautiful open yeah. nature running finish. I just would like to add that open nature and running finish, obviously, is not the closed syllable steps. However, this is a perfect example of both swings incorporated in uh, one figure that you can practice. That's not an easy step by, by the way. Alright? So, should yes. I start? Probably this way is the best way. So, we're going to go and slow and quick and quick and slow and quick and quick. And if Yaroslav does that one more time, we're going to see again the center of his hip that is going to move over pendulum and metronomic. I'm going to show. I'm going to show. So now I start with my pendulum swing. So I'm going to go pendulum swing here and then metronomic swing here. And again immediately pendulum swing here, metronomic swing here. Very good. So we're going down. Let's do it all together. Let's yes. try it. Let's now I would like Lilia to do that. Okay, and great. I will be counting. Let's go. Lydia, may I ask you to start forward, please? Okay, okay. Not to create any confusion. Alright. Small steps. Alright, let's go. Ready? And slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Alright. Let's do one more time, please. Okay. I love this job to come. Ready? And Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Okay, thank you so As much. As you can see, we don't have to have a lot of space to dance uh, around, but we can still exercise our rise and fall. Yes. We're going to the next one. Yes, the most popular step and quick step probably, chassis. There are many kinds of chassis and something we're going to talk about today is skater chassis and tipple and tipsy chassis that are going to represent both pendulum and metronomic swing motion. So let's start with the pendulum chassis, skater chassis and again, if you get up into those exercises, these are really great. We're going to use this line and start over the left foot, moving to our right with the skater chassis over the timing and slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and to the other side slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and so let's take a look a little closer look to uh, on what we're going to do here and then we're going to do some uh, repetitions of, of those so when we're doing the skater chassis uh, over the slow count we're going to lower into the standing leg move our body to the side or into a center balance position on two toes then we're going to rise through the new standing leg that is going to collect our feet almost together so we don't try to collect the feet in quick step uh, because we have to be aware of the partner's leg in between and then we're going to change weight and lower again and then change weight to the side rise, close the feet, lower what again, we're doing? If Lilia does it one more time yeah. I just would like to mention that pendulum swing for us that is going on all the way through. Sure. So uh, if, if we imagine the point here, it's going to go down and up, down and up. Now when, the, when, when I'm saying down, it's not down vertically, but it's down and together with the side movement, as you can probably see. Yes, so let's do that one more time altogether. The slow skater chassis in the practice pool. Let me count for you. And slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and one more time. Please do it with us. All right, let's go. Ready and slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and slow and slow and. Quick and quick and slow and make sure when you are doing it, uh, Lydia, may I ask you to do it very very slowly. 
your body weight lands slow and on this leg and again slow and on this leg for Lilia this is left leg and she's moving to the right and on the next part same uh, idea so quick and quick and slow and then we switch the leg and again we're going slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and so basically you can think that you have to land on the leg of the side you're going from so I'm going from that side I'm going to land on the same leg representing that side which is left knee right now slow and slow and very good so obviously when we're doing the faster chassis quick and quick end we're going to have a little shallower swing but it's still a representation of the pendulum swing which is down and up so when we're going quick and quick and step hop at the end we're going to have that hopping action that we'll talk about slightly later when we're doing that quick and quick end pendulum chassis there is still a slight pendulum force going on quick and quick and step hop but it is a much shallower because of the speed and because of the body flight that we're going to apply all right moving on to the next one which is our metronomic kind of chassis uh, often done during syllabus typical chassis or we do a lot of deep sea chassis in the open routine as well which are similar but in the syncopated timing so we're going to do only the side part of the typical chassis just to be clear with the course and the metronomic movement that we're doing so again starting over the left foot going to the side up and over quick quick slow up up and over quick quick slow quick quick slow now tipsy chassis are going to be similar but syncopated and we're going to start again here with the tipsy right away and quick and quick quick and quick quick and quick quick and quick so we've done four of each maybe you can count for me i'm going to do it yes. together with you guys now please notice again the metronomic kind of movement that happens to your star center if we explain it just uh, quickly here as he's going up up and over up up and over he's really using his leg to rise and therefore show us that swing course mm -hmm. all right four tipple chassis and four tipsy chassis oh in a row follow my count ready and quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick 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 quick
So when we are running, what we are really trying to do is we have to remember our metronomic swing and we are doing a series of steps with metronomic swing on each step. That's basically our run. So when you hear the run, it doesn't mean that you have to actually run it. Now, before we're going to do that, I just would like to explain one concept that helped me a lot the moment I heard it. It happened many years ago, actually through the video, I learned it, I was able to do it in my living room right away. I was a kid back then, but uh, somehow it just, it, the message was so clear and I connected with it and even until now I'm still focused on that, I'm doing that. So, when we want to create certain uh, movement in quick step, especially when we're doing different jumping and running, the key point is we have to let our body go first off the foot of the standing leg and let the moving leg catch our body. So my body will go first off balance and then I will catch it with my foot. My body goes off, I catch it with my foot. If I will be running towards this direction, towards uh, my wife, <laughs> then you, uh, hopefully you can see I release the body, catch, release the body, catch, release the body, catch, and catch. So if you have series of runs, you have to be constantly releasing the body forward, catching with your feet. You have three, four steps for those three steps, releasing the body forward, catching with your feet, or backwards. You can do it in uh, any direction you want. Most often it happens in prominent position that we run or in outside partner position. So what we're going to do here, we're going to exercise outside partner run, uh, diagonally forwards, diagonally backwards, helpful for anybody uh, and hopefully fits in your routine as well. If you can stay just facing your uh, screen and uh, we're going to run diagonally forward to the left. So this is left side for us. So what we are going to do is we can uh, probably place our feet just forward, right? Then we will do a little bit of the shoulder lift. We are going to look towards where we are going to run. We go up on our toes and we will start with our right leg. So make sure you're starting with the right leg, otherwise it's going to be challenging with this exercise. So this is the right leg. So we're picking up our arms and we start running. We will exaggerate for you just to show that uh, metronomic swing that is going on. So we are going to go and one, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there is one mistake that I would like uh, to point out here. Very often I see people while doing this type of run are putting their heels on the floor which which supposed not to be there obviously. So my heels are always on the floor, I still allow my legs to do their job in uh, absorbing my weight, in bending and uh, picking my body up, but my heels are always off the floor. So in a way I have to lock my ankle joint a little bit to prevent my heels from touching the floor and as I'm running my heels are always off the floor hopefully you can see that through the video very good all right so now we're moving on to the third and last type of motion in quick step which is a hopping motion now very often in modern routines we have our step hops and a lot of them uh, Unfortunately or luckily, there's a lot of jumps in modern routines nowadays. So, what we have to do when we do a step hop, we have to be aware that the first step is a regular swing core step over the pendulum swing, and the hop is the result of the weight release downwards that rebounds us then up as we land on the same leg or over the same foot. So, we're going to do a couple of step hops here, right foot forward, facing the screen, facing the camera. Ready? We're going to have a slow, in the center balance, we're going to release the body weight and rotate and, and the result is going to be hop. And we're going to go backwards, slow, rotate with the weight and hop. So let's do that one more time, take a little bit more space. Ready? And slow. And slow. And. Good job. So this is something to practice to improve your step hops. Very important thing here is when you absorb your weight, you do right over the same foot. 
So when you step up, step over the left foot, you arrive over the left foot. If you step home over the right foot, step your right over the right foot. Another important tip is the moving foot, which has to be always on the floor, pointed nicely with the inside edge of that ball of the foot. So when we're going forward into the first step hop, the left foot is going to be pointed inside edge. And then we're going backwards, the right foot on the floor, pointed inside edge. Make sure you're doing enough rotation in order for you to change the direction in this step. Sometimes step hop doesn't change the direction, but most of the time we see in uh, different routines you have to change the direction. So in order to do that you have to create enough rotation through your body, center legs, uh, to, to get to the right alignment. Correct. Now we're going to loop all those exercises into a nice quick step set. And we hope you're exercising together with us. Here's how's going to count and I'm going to do, here's the plan. Skater chassis, tipple chassis, tipsy chassis, runs diagonally, open natural running finishes, and of course our step pops. Alright, Lila, are you ready? Yes, I am. Practice hold, breathe in, breathe out. Skater chassis, ready? Ready, and slow, and slow, and quick, and quick, and slow, and slow, and slow, and quick, and quick, and slow, and smile, slow, and slow, and quick and quick and slow and slow and slow and quick and quick and slow and ready for chasses and quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick tipsy quick and quick quick and quick quick and quick good job quick and quick quick and quick quick and quick let's do chasse again quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow Quick, quick, slow, tipsy. Quick and quick, 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 quick and quick. Don't skip the leg day. Quick and quick. All right, let's run backwards and quick, 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 quick. Heels on the floor. Quick, 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 quick. Not bad. Now open natural run and finish and slow, quick, quick, swing. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And we can do our step hops. And slow, 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 and all right, very good. Okay, that's definitely a nice warm up. <laughs> Before practice, before competition, so, so tune in. We hope you are doing it together with us and Lilia's effort was not in vain. <laughs> she was sweating for you guys. Alright, so we believe by understanding and by having a better clarity of what, what is uh, exactly the action, the type of action that you are doing in your routine, where is your body weight in particular moment of time, what is the sequence of actions and things like that, will make your quick step feel easier for you so therefore more enjoyable and you can uh, really have your brains free in order to express the music and uh, dance together with your partner thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time thank you so much bye bye